Hi there, my name is Barb. I'm one of the volunteers at the Erlen Lee Museum Home, the birthplace of the Women's Institute, way back in 1897. Today I want to talk to you about using plastic yarn. Okay, you're going to ask, what is plastic yarn? Okay, well, some of you may be familiar with the mats that people are making out of milk bags and sending to third world countries. So it's the same principle as that, except I don't use milk bags. I use plastic tablecloths. Now many of you have probably used them over the past and what do you do when you've used them a few times? You roll them up and toss them in the garbage or try to recycle them in the plastic recycling. But I found there is another use for them, and I have a few items on the table here that I have made with the plastic yarn. I call it Plarn, P-L-A-R-N. You can knit with it, you can crochet with it, and I found that crocheting worked best for me. So why did I even start using this method of recycling? Well, it's kind of a love-hate relationship with plastic tablecloths. They are very reasonable to buy when you're having an event or just outside in the yard and you don't want to take out one of your good tablecloths. So I accumulated a few over the years. I would wipe them down after using, put them aside and reuse them until maybe they got a little too worn or had holes or tears in them. So I do have a number on hand. So what can we do? Well, we can make a bag that you can take to the beach with your flip-flops in it or your sun hat. You can make a basket to put your work in that you're currently doing. You can make a little catch-all for doodads. I even made a granny square coaster. These are very durable and tough, so they hold up nice for, it's more for outdoor living. And then for my patio table, I have a couple mats that I can put a plant on this summer. Be time for that soon. I did a uh, pencil holder. Now, I happen to have a can opener that leaves a not a sharp edge at the top, so it was very easy to put the, uh, the can into that. So there's any number of things that you can make with it. There's a lot more ideas out there. If you Google plastic yarn, you'll come up with hundreds of ways to use it. So it is easy to cut, doesn't take a lot of um, hand movements. It ends up looking like this here once you've cut it. And they wash up very nice once you've used them. Say, take this one to the beach, bring it home. It might have some sand in it or that. You just swish it in some soapy water, hang it up to dry, and it's good to go. Now you're going to find that your plastic tablecloths come in a variety of um, thicknesses. Some are more pliable than others. Some are quite stiff. This one here, uh, the plastic was quite stiff. So if you're using more than one color, make sure that your plarn is of the same weight. So I mentioned uh, that these tablecloths come in a variety of colors and I just wanted to show you some. Uh, there's the orchid, I call it orchid. Then there's green. Now this is a thicker one, this is a thinner one. There's gold, probably for a 50th anniversary. Then there's yellow, a pale yellow. Then there's this beautiful blue, WI colors. There's Christmas, and you know what? This bag was made with Christmas tablecloths and you'd never know it because there's some cranberry and there's some red and there's some green along with the white. So you could use your Christmas ones no problem. Then there's red. 
then there's a brighter yellow, then there's a royal blue, and then of course there's the turquoise that many of my items are made with. So happy recycling and it would be nice if you do try this craft out if you would send some pictures to the Irwin Lee so we can see what you've done. Well, okay. I've got a yellow one on the table here and as you know these are 52 by 70 usually so it's hanging over the other end and it's really hanging over this end. So it will slide off the table so I stuck something on top of it. Like I mentioned so, you don't have to use your scissor movement for this. You slip it under. Now usually one and a half to two inches width is good and I just eyeball it and uh, I get wobbles in it, but if you felt more comfortable marking it somehow or if your table had a mark on it. So I just start it with a cut and I hold it and you zip your scissors through it. So all I do is come a little bit to the end, not totally, because I want to make one big long piece out of this 52 by 70 piece. But I'm going to show you the other way. If you want to just do strips, you just cut it, and you've got one strip. What you would have to do then is tie it to your next strip. And then you have all these knots to work into your uh, finished product. So I find it's just easier just to keep going. It's a little awkward, but so I'm going to start at this side now and do the same thing. Okay, now I'm going down the other side. And I, when I do this, I just lay the, let these fall onto the floor. It doesn't hurt. Just going to move this down. Okay, I'm just going to end this one instead of continuing and I will just start rolling it up. And when you're finished and you're making, putting your things together, you're going to be working all these knots in. This one here I did not do that cut that way. I cut it in strips only. So I have all these knots that need to be pulled through some of the loops. Just a little bit of uh, extra. And I found that a smaller crochet hook was good for that. Because I could reach under the, the previous loops. Other than that, I was using a size 10. or a six millimeter. It's also the two different ones. And that seemed to work well. And of course the knitting, I wasn't sure it would work too well because you're, you're working on more than one stitch at a time. That's why I like crochet. So this will be probably a, another couple rows. It'll be a square and it'll be a coaster or something for outside again. If you're knitting, I would suggest metal needles because it would slide a little better. These are plastic and it um, doesn't slide as well. It still works. So you get a little bit of an open stitch there. And of course this basket was made with Women's Institute colors. Well it's supposed to be gold, yellow and royal blue. So I enjoy uh, using that one. So go online and find uh, Google plastic yarn um, crafting or whatever, just plastic yarn. It'll come up with places where you can buy it. There's um, at least half a dozen or more sites that have um, patterns, uh, Pinterest, of course. I saw one for a summer hat. I thought, hmm, I might 
tackle that, but I'm not really proficient at knitting or crocheting. I try, I do what I can do, but uh, so I would um, say, hey, happy stitching and happy recycling because you are recycling. So good for you. Thank you for watching.